Hi, welcome to the Excel guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the average function in many different ways. The purpose of the average function is to get the average value of a series of numbers which are given into the function. First, I will explain the syntax of the average function and how it works. This is the syntax of the average function. First, we type the function name. Then, as parameters, we give the list of numbers which we want to get the average value of. Now, this is the first parameter which I have mentioned as number 1. Then the second parameter as number 2 and so on. We can give any number of parameters into the average function separated by commas. These parameters can be either numbers, cell addresses, or addresses of ranges of numbers. Okay, that was the syntax of the average function. Let's see how this formula actually works in Excel. In Excel, any function starts with the equal sign. Then we type average. Then open brackets and start giving parameters number 1, 2, and so on which we want the function to find and return the average value. Then close the bracket and press enter. Excel will show the average value of the given list of numbers. For these parameters, instead of numbers, we can give formulas like this. For example, I'm changing this number as a formula like this, which should give the same result. Now, let's move on to a real but simple example. Here we have a list of values, which are marks of subjects of a student. Now, I'm going to find the average marks using the average function. There are a couple of ways to do this. One method is to select the range of data like this, which you want to get the average. Then the average is displayed in this bar at the bottom of Excel window. But what I want to show in this video is how to get the average using the average function. One method of using the average function is select the data range which you want to get the average. Then click the small arrow in, the, in this auto sum button and click on average. The average value is displayed at the bottom. Another method is to click on the cell where you want to get the average and then click on the small arrow in autosum button and then click average. Then Excel will mark the range allowing us to move or expand the range using either the keyboard or mouse. When the range is correctly selected, press enter. The average will be displayed. Now again if I select the same cell, you can see the actual formula which is created which is the average function. Here there is only one parameter, it represents an area or a range of cells. But this could be more than one range, couple of cells, or combination of ranges and cells, which I am going to explain now. In this worksheet, we have marks of three terms of a student. As in the previous example, I will take average of each term at the bottom of columns of each term. Either I can select the cell where I want the average and use the average button or I can select the entire range of data and click on average button. Now I have got average marks of each term. The same thing we can do the other way to show average marks of each subject separately during the year. Select the range horizontally and click on the average button. The average marks within the year is displayed. Now copy the formula down. The average of other subjects are displayed. Now I'm going to calculate the average marks of all subjects of all three terms. Click on the cell which you want the average. Then click the average button and then select the entire range of data and press enter. 
Excel will show the average value of the entire year. We can get the same result by taking the average value of average marks of each term. Select the cell where you want the average and then click average button and select the range and press enter. The same thing we can do by passing each average mark as separate parameters into average function. Select the cell where you want the average and then click average button and select each cell as parameters separated by commas. Close brackets and press enter. All three methods have given the same results. Now let's check how the same average function works in three different formulas. Just double click on the cell to view the formula. In the first formula, as the parameter, I have given the full range which I want to get the average from. In the second formula, as the parameter, I have also given a range, but each cell in the range represents an average of each term. In the last formula, I have given three cells which I gave in the same previous range, but as separate parameters to the average function. All these methods give the same result. So like this you can use the average function in multiple ways. Depending on your actual scenario, you can use the best or the most efficient way. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel to see more upcoming valuable videos. Bye bye!